what's up my people bless upon yourself welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel so i may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys and the first thing we're gonna share is a mother with drop out you know what i mean and her daughter hospitalized after a crash scene a woman died as a result of injuries she sustained in a motor vehicle crash in Monique Saint Anne on Tuesday night. Her daughter is also nursing injuries as a result of the crash. The deceased Nella Parker of Swamp Lane in Bagwalk St. Catherine reports from the Monique police are that about 11 p.m. Parker and her child were traveling in a motor car when a tire blew out. The driver subsequently lost control of the vehicle. Both females were reportedly thrown from the vehicle and sustained multiple injuries. They were transported to hospital where Parker succumbed to her injuries and her daughter admitted for treatment. Since Friday, December 22, five people including a policeman have succumbed to injuries sustained in vehicular collision in St. Anne. So, R.I.P., you know what I mean, to this woman, condolences to her family, and a speedy recovery to her daughter. People, yes, so I tell you about vehicle, you know what I mean, take time and drive because anything can happen. A vehicle at an engine, a whole heap of moving parts. Yes, so I say one of them can defect and you don't know about it. So, take time and drive, you know what I mean. So we are going to move over to the Opel principal where the police them all on pan for the dashway at the bursa. See? So them release him in the people. But them say he's still a suspect. Right? The principal of Opel High School in Hanover who was taken into custody hours after the murder of the institution Bursa has been released but remains a person of interest. He was released from custody on Friday. Head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay said the probe is ongoing. The Bursa Mr. Roberts of a St. James address was reportedly shot minutes to four Wednesday afternoon by a lone gunman as he was about to drive off the school compound. He reportedly died on the spot. The police said Roberts was attacked by an unidentified individual who witness described as, bo, you know what I mean, six feet, them say. See? Principal of the institution, Brian Grant, who was on the outside at the time of the incident, reportedly smashed into a glass door as he tried to take away himself, escape. And I mean, he was injured and was taken to a medical facility for treatment. The principal was taken into custody shortly after he was released from the hospital last Wednesday. Last week, the principal said, the police, sorry, said, Preliminary inquiries had suggested that the shooting may have stemmed from an interpersonal conflict. The constabulary is urging anyone with information related to this incident to come forward. So people, rumors are grown, say, them two are involved in some nasty things. You know what I mean? The two of them are going with some things behind closed doors. And at that, them say allegedly caused the conflict between the two of them and caused one forget, you know what I mean, kill. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, my people. John Star, boy. Them all, me always hear people saying, you see, fish, when it comes to fish relationship, I, I want terrible something. You know what I mean? Because them people they are willing to dash with them one another over jealousy. You know what I mean? I don't know what occur or if them really a fish. I just uh, you know what I mean? State something where people say. So, hope them find whoever responsible. If I the principal, him for go down. If I somebody else, them for go down. You know what I mean? So, let me know what you guys think. Man fatally shot in Spanish Town Police 
Um, so the police them go up on a raid, go look for this man, seen, and end up calling him up and him drop out. So here what them say go on and now, seen, an alleged gunman was this man in fatally shot. In a reported confrontation with the police in Ellis Isle, Penn, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, the police say three guns were seized at the premises. So much. The deceased has been identified as Sunman McFarlane, alias Max, a laborer of Ellis Isle Avenue in the community. Police report that personnel from the Counterterrorism and organized crime division armed with a warrant swooped down on Ellis Island Avenue in Spanish Town in search of McFarlane. According to the police, while the house door was being breached, it swung open and a woman approached the team, during which time McFarlane was seen on a bed pointing a firearm at the cops. The police say the cops open gunfire at McFarlane who fell and the firearm was retrieved. The injured man was assisted to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Poli the police say the room was searched and two additional firearms were found, one under the mattress and the other under the bed. Meanwhile, the Independent Commissioner of Investigations has launched a probe into the incident. So they know say Indico come go come in and they go do them probe. You know what I mean? They go investigate and try to find out if the police them could have do without shooting this man. You understand me? So just leave your comments in the comment section and we are go over in a St. James, you know, my people. Nephew charged for a stabbing of uncle in St. James. 29-year-old St. James chef Ricardo has been charged with the stabbing death of his uncle during a fight in their community on Boxing Day. Bentley Vance, 55 a Mason, died on Tuesday, December 20. Pam Boxing Day dead then. See, reports from the Montego Bay police are that about 2 a.m., Ricardo had an altercation with a woman and Vans intervened. A dispute developed between Ricardo and Vans when Ricardo pulled a knife and stabbed the now deceased and his aunt, the police reported. It is alleged that Vans was assisted inside his home when Ricardo kicked in the door and attacked him with the same knife. Vans was stabbed several times in the left side of his chest. The police were summoned and Vans was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Ricardo was taken into custody where he was charged after a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. A court date for him is being finalized. So, this youth here catch up with a female. Him uncle intervene. You see what I say? And he may not stab him, uncle. Then bring him inside and him the other door. And him come back. Come juke up him, uncle. And kill him. I what? Really so? Make him have to come back, come stab up the man again after him already stabbed the man upon him. And Jaja, boy, may I tell you. And him, uncle, at that. Yeah, no. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Leave a like and also subscribe.